My name is uh, Dr. Yuri Heiken, and I'm a cardiologist. I wanted to talk to you about stress testing. We perform stress testing for several reasons, and the most important of which is to assess a patient's likelihood or probability of having significant blockages in the blood vessels of the heart. Now, the heart stress test does not tell us whether somebody does or does not have blockages. It just tells us whether somebody is likely or not likely to have such blockages. Another reason for a stress test is to see whether your heart rate can increase appropriately with exercise. In some patients who are tired and we feel it may be related to too slow of a heart rate, we want to see if the heart rate actually does or does not go up with exercise. And related to that, we also want to make sure that you don't have any arrhythmias, irregular heart rhythms, or abnormal heart rhythms when you exercise. This is particularly important for certain groups of patients. During a stress test, we attach ECG electrodes to your body and we watch the ECG for certain changes that tell us whether or not you have a problem with circulation. Unfortunately, a stress test alone is only about 60% accurate and less so in women. And so sometimes we add other testing to the stress test, such as echocardiography, ultrasound of your heart, where we look at your heart before and after a stress test, port parts of your heart that don't get enough blood flow may not contract properly after the stress test while they're contracting well before the stress test. Adding the ultrasound information to the ECG increases accuracy of the test to about 85%. Similar accuracy around 85% is achieved with nuclear imaging added to the ECG. And in fact, when we do nuclear imaging, what we'll look at is distribution of radiation from a special isotope injected into your bloodstream into the heart muscle. We'll look to see how well it distributes at rest and whether or not there are changes with exercise. If you have a significant blockage at one of the blood vessels or more blood vessels, those areas may get enough of the isotope at rest but may not get enough isotope with exercise and we can see those changes. In fact, Nuclear imaging also allows us to image your heart with a different type of stress, where we give you an injection instead of putting you up on the treadmill. The injection dilates your blood vessels, simulating you running on the treadmill.